Hey guys, Richie here. So all of you have already listened to the pray. Please share with your friends, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. Thank you so much for your support. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, my upbringings. I'm going to answer a few questions for y'all. It was a Friday at night time. She was waiting in the corner for the right time. Brought her home. So I got started when my mom bought me this amazing piano. Um, it was actually a keyboard in our house in Nigeria and I would play it all the time and I used to watch all the different performance shows and I just really wanted to be on stage. So I took a liking to it, started learning guitar, started learning bass, drums, uh, joined a little bit of a band at school and I used to just buy all these CD packs in Nigeria that were like, that were filled with so many different albums and I'd listen to them from top to bottom. A lot of them I didn't understand, but I just really enjoyed the groove of it, especially the Afro beats. Um, a lot of artists from back then that would just really inspire me as a person. Um, I get inspired from a lot of different things. Um, oftentimes I will write songs about I'll write songs about other people's stories. I'll write songs about my stories. The way my brain works is I often take like a very small thing and I make it into a very big thing. So you find a lot of the songs are a tad extreme sometimes. Um, for instance, the last thing that we released, Emotions. And um, yeah. Better drink on me, look in my eyes, say what's your name? Where you from? You alone know I you with someone. So I basically got started when I was about five years old, I started playing piano and then I started to learn drums, started to learn guitar, uh, started to learn a bunch of different instruments. Just took a, took a liking to a lot of different artists. I used to listen to a lot of artists at home in Nigeria and we would get like, we would get like these CD packs with all these, with a bunch of albums on them. And then I would basically, I would basically just listen to all of them from top to bottom, started researching them. And then I started writing my own stuff when I was about 14 years old. Uh, just started to play guitar, was a bit nervous. We performed them at school. And here we are, a bunch of years later, for the prey. Have a drink or maybe more than one. I said, I'm a victim. Should have looked the other way. A lot of things. I really like expressing myself, but at the same time, I just love how music is a genre that has so many things combined, combining into one. And you could really, you could really um, express yourself within a three minute to, to four minute period. So of course, sometimes it's longer. And so I basically, when I first started with music, I just saw it as a thing of enjoyment which it still kind of is, but as we move forward through, throughout the years, I see it as a lot more of a way to kind of paint a picture. You know, you have the instrumentals, you have the lyrics, you have the tone of voice, and all of that contributes to the listener's experience. Pop R&B mostly, uh, I find that genres can be a little bit restrictive. Um, I really just love to pull from a lot of different places and make music that, make music for the heart. A lot of it is Afrobeats influenced, uh, the amazing, I work with Double G a lot. He's an amazing producer, I think he's the best producer in the world. And he just kind of blends a lot of different styles and knows exactly what I'm looking for and oftentimes, I just give him free reign and he just does so much with it. Boy, can't compare to you. So give me one more chance. Yeah, The Prey. So The Prey, I actually wrote that towards the end of the... I was writing the album and I wrote The Prey at the end because I just really wanted a song like that. I was thinking like in my head you know that song like it wasn't me and she called me in the corner <laughs> and i i wanted to write a song like that just a little bit more slow a little bit more sensual a little bit more about temptation except temptation is a really tough thing to explore because sometimes you sometimes you like something but you don't like it at the same time and you know you shouldn't have it but you want it at the same time so the prayer is kind of supposed to be that balance 
of wanting it but knowing you shouldn't have it. And yeah, when we recorded it, we really, really liked it. And so we shot a video for it, which you guys will see, starring Kieran, Lor um, Kieran and Lawrence and directed by Morris. It was a very, very fun situation and I hope you guys like it. Next thing you know, she was backing up, backing up, backing up. She's on the floor doing somersaults, somersaults, somersaults. That's enough, she said, where you going? Got a right. If you're hungry, we can grab a bite. I know a place, it's all right. The concept is basically, we wanted, at first it was just supposed to be a visualizer. So just one small thing, and it ended up being so good that it just, it's just like, why don't we just make a video? The concept is supposed to be something along the lines of getting, having somebody looking into somebody else's eyes, wanting them, but also not necessarily knowing that they shouldn't have them. And at the same time, you're kind of in a weird type of session. You'll see like the chair um, and everything like that. And that's supposed to be kind of admitting to the audience, admitting to yourself that you know, you're an idiot. You can change and all these different things. <laughs> what you try to do? I said I'm a victim. I should have looked the other way. Yes, I don't know the release date for that yet. Um, I should be releasing more singles before the end of the year. Probably a lot more singles before the end of the year. I'm expecting the project to come out at the beginning of next year. And yeah, I'm gonna really. I'm hoping to record a lot more songs hoping to record a lot more videos. I really love videos, as you can tell. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so much for your support.